Why, hello, my loyal subjects. My name's King Wolfha, and welcome to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Now, I've never played any of the Knights of the Old Republic games at all, ever. Um, as a kid, I watched the Star Wars movies, but never got, like, super, super into Star Wars. So these evaded me completely. This will probably be a bit more edited of a Let's Play, uh, just because I foresee me getting uh, very lost a lot. Um, so we are... Uh, gonna hop into it. Uh, I guess we'll go battle ready fighter with no equal in combat. Skillful rogue that gets by in stealth and guile. Explorer most at home fringes. Explorer most at home on the fringes of space. I guess we'll go with the combat heavy one. Custom character. We'll go with you. Why not? I don't know how this game works. I'm going to be honest with you. We are going to be um, Gregory... Uh, not a... Uh, Gregory, not a Jedi. Alright. And that's our character. Gregory, what's going on? Why do you have a seam down your throat? We've been by a Sith oh, voice acting, nice. Hurry up. We don't have much time. Uh, left click and send to salary response. What? I'm Trask Olgo. Ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite ships. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Ah, they thought of everything. We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Okay, who's Bastila? Bastila <laughs> is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. Got it. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. Understood. It's all about your reputation. Elite combat training, tops in your class. It's no wonder you were handpicked for this mission. Word is the officers haven't seen a recruit with your kind of potential in 20 years. But all that potential doesn't mean a thing if you can That sounds like an average D&D backstory. My guy's the most he's the greatest of all time. He never misses his shots. All right. Let's go save Bastila. Gotta love them breaking immersion. To move towards the footlocker, hold down the right mouse button and face the camera toward Okay. It. Then hold down the left mouse button as well to cause the character to run. Got it. You can left click on an object to start. <coughs> Once the footlocker Didn't me sneeze in your face, bud. Click on it again to perform the default action and open it. Got it. I think. Okay, yep, that's how I run around. I could also just use WASD. Heck yeah. I uh, get all the items. And then up here is like my weapons and stuff. All right. Head. I have no items. Okay. Left clicking on a slot on the equip. Heck yeah. Okay, I have nothing there. We're gonna add a short sword. In most areas, you can use the party selection screen to quickly switch party members in and out if you need them. This is done instantly and without having to return to your base. Characters switch out of your party can, to will wait for you. Okay. This is a lot of things to happen all at once. Bam. Okay. You, oh, my bad. You always control the leader of the party. You can switch left, left click. I, I, my brain just automatically click through that okay that's how okay poof perfect let's go now that the door is open you better take the lead again gotcha and i can just click down here bam look at that experience points let's go you can also use the movement keys swc and z 
That's gross. WASD it is. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge. That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's okay. combat than the rest of the Endar Spires crew put together. Got it. He says things are bad. You better believe it. Understood. Okay, if you could stop talking for five minutes so we can we could do that. Let's move out. Add to quest screen includes important information related to ongoing adventures. Refer to this journal for hints of blah 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 blah. Also, the music in this game is insanely loud. Wow! Y'all are so good at guns and dead. <laughs> Why did he die like that? Power attack. Okay. <laughs> Why would I do a full front flip? Whenever you spot an enemy, left click the select enemy once to enter combat mode. This will lock the camera on your selected target. Left clicking the target again causes your character to perform a default action and attack each round. Your chances of hitting a target are controlled by your statistics and behind the scenes combat rolls. Combat is not affected by your aim, your character's movements, or the movements of your target. So it's just a. Okay. Look at that. So I'm playing. I'm playing Star Wars D&D where I don't get to actually see the dice rolls. Awesome. Everything's going fine so far. Oh, never mind! All their friends are dying. Did you just yeet a, he yeeted a grenade. He killed his own friend. That's so rude. Uh oh. Ah! I med packed. No, stop it. Bad. Sir. You can have multiple powers or items in each icon of the action menu. Scroll up or down using the mouse wheel. Got it. Come here, nerd. Yeah. Look at that. We're the winners. Look, I can steal these parts. Remains. <laughs> I could just take stuff off of these bodies. Heck yes. It's Dark Jedi. This fight is too much for us. We better stay back. All we do is get in the way. Yeah, because we're not a Jedi, so we would die. Gregory, not a Jedi, by the way. In case, you never asked my name. This made me watch that whole cutscene. Oh, that she's dead. The Jedi Damn, they used her help. Can I take their sabers? Can I take the sa- I cannot take the saber. Is not here on the I just bridge. level up. What was that noise? Escape pods. We better head that way too. The Sith want Bastila alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. Okay, but I have to loot first. Oh, there's another door here. It took me way too long to realize there was another door here. There's something behind here. Damn, another Dark Jedi. I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go! Do I just get to watch you die? Great. Great. I make a friend and they die. Look, if I just throw grenades, they can't hurt me. <laughs> I was right. Oh, I got a great way. The damaged assault droid to help you if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire security systems against the. I have another idea. It's called throw grenades. But I guess I should try and do one of the things it wants me to do. Okay, this camera needs to cooperate. Hey, combat droid. Droid repair tutorial, reactivate. What? 
Some droids in the game are disabled or damaged and can be repaired by the player. Fixing a droid in this manner requires repair parts. Reactivate the droid. Field patrol mode. Patrol mode? Okay. And fix your shields. Heck yeah. Wait. Slicing the computer's trying to override their programming existing commands. Hey, dude! Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> <There are. laughs> the the bot already killed all of them. <laughs> I did it. Gregory, not a Jedi. Absolute monster of technology. I don't know what would have happened if I failed that. It would just been the <laughs> nothing happening. I could dual wield now. <laughs> You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left of the Endar Spire. Vassal's escape. No, you're forgetting about my Robo friend. So stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on. There'll be time for questions later. We made it. Oh, there goes our friend. No, mommy, I don't want to go to school. Every time this game goes to a loading screen, my monitors absolutely freak out. I'm going to have to figure out how to stop that. <laughs> Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. Oh, you lived. You had Oh, there was two escape pods. Got it. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Oh, you we took the same escape pod. Okay, got it. Well, you've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. Try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed. Luckily, I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site and all the confusion. I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. Okay. Guess I owe you my life. I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, and I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm gonna need your help. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet. They've been <laughs> what? The law, and they've imposed a planet -wide Those are the voice lines were recorded at two different times by potentially two different people. understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're going to find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. Okay. Was with the and I'm not a Jedi. Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endar Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Understood. There's so many options. Uh... Any ideas where we should start looking? Scouting around. There are reports of a couple of escape pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity is a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. All right, let's go. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. Got it. There's some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. And okay. They're looking for Basla. I can't wait for all the Star Wars music in the background to make it so I can't upload this video. Can I add you to my party? Karth. Talk to me. Talk, talk to me. Talk Karth. Karth, 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 Karth. Yes, what's in your mind? <laughs> uh, never mind. You got it. <laughs> right, you alien scum. 
Everybody get up against the wall. This is a raid. Okay, that feels a little racist. That's you can't just do that. That's how we sit thee with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. Can I just kill this man? Humans hiding out with aliens. They're Republic fugitives. Attack! Uh oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're welcome. Don't worry about it. Hopefully, it'll be the last. Yeah, maybe. Probably not. <laughs> Stay out of my way or I'll kill you too. I'm not saying that. Yeah, just chuck him in an alleyway somewhere. It'll be fine. Alright, Karth, where do we go next? Hey there. Well, watch, watch where you're walking. I just cleaned those floors. <laughs> I love his voice. Well, all right then. No hard feelings. My no hard feelings. I'm the janitor for this building. You must be the new tenant here, right? Never thought they'd rent that abandoned apartment. Mm. Yeah, me either. Like it was kind of messed up when we did a walkthrough. Stuck here because of the quarantine. <laughs> I can't see any other reason someone would want to rent that old apartment. Yeah, man. I'm just walking around with these swords out. Don't know how much I can tell you, but. Seeing as how you're new here, I guess I could try and help you out. Yeah, thank you. Um, not much of an issue for me. Oh, what do you think about the Sith in quarantine? Never left Tars and they ain't never gonna. Oh, okay. Well, other folks are sure riled up about it, but I don't really know much about it. Okay. I prefer to keep to myself mostly. But there's plenty of people at the cantina who'll be more than happy to tell you what they think about the Sith and their quarantine. Gotcha. Angry people at the bar. Never could have guessed. Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper street there. And, and from there, just head south a ways. You can't miss it. I feel like the dude recording these voice lines was a little inebriated when he when he did. Probably see you around. Here most of the time. The building doesn't clean itself, you know. Nothing seems to be bothering Karth. Maybe you should speak to him and see if we can get up, uh, open up to it. Absolutely. Karth, I want to kiss you. I mean, what's wrong, man? Me? Well, I've been a star Why did the game lag when I selected that? Okay. Gotcha. world was one of the first planets to fall to Malik's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do. Kinda sucks. That's rough, bud. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it's just it doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed. I I did. Didn't mean to upset you, bud. No, don't worry about it. I just I must not be making much sense. Probably mean well with your question. Whatever that noise is, though, is upsetting me. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Okay, what? Well, oh, it's you two. What are you guys doing? Hey. Hey. Knock it off. Can you provide me information on how to get your feet to stop clink clanking? Um. Wow, there's a lot of info to take in. Okay. 
Uh, Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. I'm new. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the equipment and Hello, Kebla. Could you get your robots to stop walking in circles? Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. All right, let's see what you got. Just so you know, the prices on the items are final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. Got it. Dirty spike. Some armor. Gun baton. Vibroblade, which is probably better than my prototype Vibroblade, which I already upgraded. Vibro sword. Double-bladed sword. Or field generator, flash mine. I'm gonna have to look into like what of these are good and not. Um so this is light armor. Oh no, I need armor proficiency, light, armor proficiency medium. I don't know if I have those. <laughs> also, I cannot afford them, I've just not realized. I can afford this combat suit. And I bought it. I double clicked and it auto bought it. Alright, cool. Double click on thing means buy. Okay. Oh, I have a level up. Alright. We are okay, okay. I my brain not work. I think that's gonna do it for this episode. I don't know how okay, you guys are so annoying. This is a really old game, if you guys haven't noticed. So a lot of the problems I'll have with this game will probably be nitpicky stuff. Um I'm going to the apartments to get away from these droids. Um, so if any, so a couple things, if anybody has suggestions on how to, every time I get to a cutscene, um, the game, uh, like, freaks out my monitors, I'm gonna look into how to fix that, but if you have experience with that and know how to fix that, let me know. Two, any early game advice would be appreciated, because I've never played any of these games before. Um, what was I about to say? There was another thing I was gonna say. Um, oh, because it's such an old game, any of my complaints, uh, just know that it's more of like a nitpicky thing. It's not me actually ragging on the game. I know it's an old game, and it's going to have weird things about it. Um, and it's also Star Wars, and I know it's a very beloved game. So I hope to do it justice. Uh, future episodes will probably be a bit more edited. I don't have as much time to play today as I would like. Um, so the plan is uh, I'm going to cut out as much of me running around uh, being lost as possible. So you guys mostly get combat and story. Um, but that's the plan anyway. We'll see how it goes. And we'll see how short or long the episodes ends up. They could be 15, 20 minute episodes. They could be 30 minute episodes. I don't know. Uh, until I start editing this one and then we record the next couple. So let me know if you guys are excited for this series. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Be good people. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.